I'm a king, hold on, wait. I'm finna give her this ring. See a queen going in, running 800 meters fast. 145, you know I'm doing 100 on the dash. I'm talking about, but I got your girl and she went as a water spout. Call it Charlotte's whoop the way I'm finna go and dig her out. Eating fruit loose, you know I'm finna put them in my mouth. Hold on, wait. Stay hydrated, water all day. Finna go and squirt, squirt. You know I do it every day and I'm on K at Arizona State eating popcorn while I watch the track me. Let's go. Four two six. My God. What's up, guys? It's your boy Uncle Carlton, back again with another eight hundred U video. Shout out to my boy Chris Harrell, our recruiting person. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Kate making his first travel trip. Kate, how do you feel about the travel trip so far? Oh, uh, a lot of fun. Are y'all vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, I'm saying. A lot of fun. Different than uh, what I thought with high school. But pretty relaxed. Um, U of H is pretty pretty fun town. Yeah. So what's uh, the U of, U of A? U of A. Sorry, <laughs> not U of H. U of okay, A. So what are you what are you doing this weekend? Um, I'm running in the second heat of the 800 with John. Okay. How's your what's your strategy? How you feeling? Um, Coach Mallon just said to stay on the the outside of whoever's leading. And then okay. Hopefully, but I feel pretty good. Um, weather's nice. So, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, Brandon, I'm going to take it to you, cuz. <laughs> so, B. Miller, how you feeling today, bro? Feeling good, man. Feeling good, man. Feeling good, man. Feeling good, man. Feeling Yeah, what you, what's your strategy? What's your strategy? No clue. <laughs> Still trying to figure that out. You know, I've been, I've been wanting to ask you, how did you feel about your indoor season? You know, SC champion, but, you know, 17th overall, not making it to nationals. How, like, what, what's going on with you? It was cool. Like, my indoor season was... It was Right. Yeah. Uh oh. This is a group, Okay, okay. What you running this weekend then? The one and the four by one. Okay, 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 okay. You already know what it is. Shout to the British athletes. <laughs> <laughs> Got my boy Alan here. Alan, what's good with you? What's up? Wow, you look you look good in this lighting. <laughs> yeah, bro. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Finally indoor finished and I'm excited for the outdoor season. Yeah, how, how was your indoor season? How'd you like it? First one ever, First right? First one ever. I mean, it didn't go as planned, but I mean, it was a good experience. Yeah. And learned a lot and hope I can. Um make outdoor season better right right so, right 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 so how is uh the trip so far are you like in arizona oh it's awesome it's warm <laughs> for it's, sure uh, yeah it's not cold yep I'm, how are you liking the how are you liking the team dynamic you like um you know just kind of what we do every day oh yeah i mean like everybody's here and we're like training together mm -hmm. so i'm more confident than usual for for so, sure yeah and yeah excited to see everybody run too for sure for sure for sure thanks alan yep so now we're here with Carlton Orange. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. This is that man. Hi, so Carlton, we're coming here with an interview. So how do you feel going into this week's meet? Tell us what you're running, how you're feeling, what are your goals? Yeah, we're in the 800 this week. Uh, they might throw me in a 4x4. I don't know yet. It's kind of a game time decision. 
but um, I'm feeling pretty good. Didn't have an indoor season this year, but you know, I don't really like indoors too much anyway because I always get hurt. So this is the first time I've been able to train, not be hurt all season. And I'm feeling pretty confident going in. Um, been stringing together a lot of good practices, you know, um, pretty confident, you know, breaking off the rust. It's been two years since I've run, but I think it'll be a good one. Yeah, so where where do you see you progressing as the season goes along? Well, I got an 800 this week, mile next week, probably 800 again. So if I could just make some steady improvements week to week, that'd be good. I don't want to come out here and break the world record the first meet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have it steady because, you know, Olympic trials is in June, June 18th. So I'm really trying to peak at that point. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just trying to keep it steady. Where do you see yourself time-wise by the time you get to Olympic trials? I easily see myself at 144. I mean, I train with a 144 guy every single day. You know, we're right up there with each other. You know, I have other guys around me like yourself, Caden, Allen, who just who are just dogs. So like, mm -hmm. it's it's easy to actually get really good and not know it. So all we have to do is get in the right race, and I think that we can all break past our Olympic or our limits on our one punch man flow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. So. Hey, that's the interview. Carlton Orange, everybody. Peace. You got my boy Triple D Dixon out here. Finna run the 400 meters today. Or no, on Saturday. <laughs> Devin, tell me how you feeling for this race on Saturday. I'm feeling pretty solid. Feeling pretty solid. Um, we've been working on box starts. That's probably my hardest one to work on right now. But, you know, that I've been told that's like 0.1%. That is, yeah. All I gotta do is just get out strong, hold that frame, and then bring it on home for the last stretch. Right. How you feeling about um, your season so far and the, you know, no indoors? Uh, I feel fresh. <laughs> but really fresh, though. You know, um, it's kind of a relief not doing indoors, you know, not trying to get on anybody who loves indoors, but indoors, yeah. Right, right, right. Definitely, so I'm very excited and refreshed and ready to show the world what I got. Right. So how do you see your progression? Um, this season, like you run the four, I think this week, the four next week, and how do, how do you want your season kind of to go? Uh, a gradual, slowly and gradual. I know I get eager real fast, mm -hmm. having to run certain times, you know, at this moment, stuff like that, when I have to realize it's the first meet, so, you know, right. I'm not gonna expect to run like 43 or 44 off, off rip. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. just gradual progression, you know, making sure I see where my mistakes are and just learn from them and then utilize what I've learned from my past three years. For sure, for sure, for sure. Well, thanks, Devin, I hope you do well this week. Appreciate that, see y'all. All right, y'all, this is a uh, vlog number what? Yeah. Number two, three. Number two, three? I'm saying number two. Um, we got Panera chilling. Uh, my boy Caden. What up? Brandon. Rashad. Good. Got my boys over here. Uh, yeah, we just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, see your face, see your face. Like, like looking at her eyes, face. <laughs> bad. So we have what, Panera? Yeah, we have Panera What's just today? chilling. Today's, uh... Yeah, Thursday, uh, March 18th. Can we got racing two days. Yeah, racing two days. Uh, shoot, just chilling, eating. Damn, I'm bored as hell. I got to get worked on by Saul. In like 30 minutes. I got to dip. But, um, yeah. Shouts to the hotel. My boy Connor out here. Just came back from lunch. I don't know. I think we started at the Marriott. But yeah, this is the first of many meets. Next we've got uh, Texas Relays. Peep Devin in the elevator right there. <laughs> Devin Denort Dixon. Yeah. Yo, what's up guys? We're about to go get something to eat. My boy Mason, my boy Caden. Got Devin, Brady, and Alan in the background. You already know who it is. We're going to Caruso. Let's get some, uh, some spaghetti ravioli. Hold on. Look at it, look at it. Boom. Look at the dog. Gotta get some pasta, you know, fuel up. You already know what it is. I'll see y'all in a bit. Like, uh, Caruso's right now. Uh, I think it's, uh, Whole Foods. I feel like it's, uh, a watered down version of, uh, Bone Crow. Yeah, mad old people did just walk out of the restaurant. I'm not gonna lie. They're only allowed two parties in. Um, I don't know what kind of BS they're on, but, uh, they're on that COVID shit. Like, I thought COVID was done. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's just in Texas. Look at us with our masks. <laughs> 
but yeah, what you about, what you about to get? I don't, what, what, what I don't know what they would have got. I don't know, it's Italian. What do you usually like? Oh, Italian? Yeah, what do you like to eat for races? Chicken Alfredo. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's a basic meal. That's a basic meal. I feel like you be eating like lasagna sometimes, though. No, yeah, but like on a good day. Like, I'm not good enough. You know what I mean? I'm probably going to get a chicken Alfredo. Or probably a chicken pesto with like Alfredo sauce or something. I want me some pesto. Ooh, you know what they say about pesto. <laughs> Just finished shakeout, day before competition, chilling at Chipotle. You already know what it is. You know, about to get some lunch. Um, you know, Brandon and Alan are in the 15 tonight. So we're gonna, we can't even go to the track. So I guess we're just gonna support them. I don't know. I guess we'll just go support them. But tomorrow we run at 1.40 West Coast time. I do. Caden does as well, and Devin runs at one o'clock. So we'll keep you posted. We'll see you then. Coming back with the vlog today, guys. We're on, it's the day before the race. Um, we just went to Chipotle or whatever. Got my boy Caden, Devin, and me. We're walking around Arizona campus. Show it beautiful, like, give me West Coast vibes a lot. But um, I don't know, man. Like, could y'all go to a West Coast school? Oh, the most for sure. If it's like Definitely. this, yes. For sure. Definitely. For sure. For sure. Well, how do y'all compare this to Texas A&M? My goodness, this place, even though it's like the great value version of uh, Arizona. <laughs> Arizona State? Arizona State. Yeah. I, 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 this shit's on uh, college station. All right, so, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's beautiful. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Everyone's out. That's what I'm saying. This is what a, is it, just, like 70 degrees? It looks about 75 degrees or so, and we're probably in the middle of campus right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, the females are looking good, you know, they're beautiful young ladies out here. But, um, you know, I'm sure like pre COVID, this would be like really cool. Oh, it'll be bumping, probably. So, I don't know. I mean, just look at the palm trees in the background, just See, look at everything that's going on. Cali vibes. That's what I'm saying. If you don't want to go to California, you should go to Arizona. And you got the mountains in the background. Like, I really hope my kids, like, they go to the West Coast. Don't wake me over like you never, please. <laughs> no, we're not going over there. But yeah, this is beautiful. Um, let me know if y'all want to see something else from Arizona. We're just going to check out the campus and I'm going to keep y'all updated. Pulling up to AZ Stadium, going to go play some catch on the football field. You already know what it is. Um, I don't even know what I'm about to say. <laughs> what did you just step back from? <laughs> I wish you could change the camera on this, actually. Can I? No, like it just takes pictures. That's so weird. The iPhone um, video camera is kind of dope, actually. Like, why do I even need a DSLR? I guess I need to some for like the image stabilization, but that's it. You know what I mean? You shouldn't put all the blame on you as a team effort, all that stuff. Right, that's right, right. Awesome, you know what I mean? Right. I fuck with it. I mean, if you could so, always, like, if how, you could teach a girl something, that's like what's the most attractive about a man, to be honest, you know? how like she thinks that her friends are kind of acting weird now because all they do is ask her for stuff. Because like <laughs> all I do is ask her for stuff. It's like okay, it's like she's so, smart. You know what I mean? And that reminded me of you. You know me a little bit. Yeah. Like you know how like I felt like I told her like you're one of those people who are kind of like valuable in their circle. You know what I mean? The more valuable you make yourself, you're gonna have to get used to having people ask you for stuff. Yeah, it sounds like her friends um, are just like bad influences on her. Do you get that vibe? Yeah, I do. Mm. I do. I'll tell you they about sound, her friends sound kind of immature too. Yeah. Are they single? Uh, they're not all girls. There's some guys too. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the guy friends. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it is possible. Actually, let's talk about that on the vlog. Do y'all think, comment below if you think it's possible for a guy to be friends with a girl and just friends. No. I think it's possible, but know. there's always going to be some underlying attraction there. Is this a PG? PG uh, no, I mean, I, I just bleep out the words, you know what I'm saying? Bro, <laughs> listen, listen here. This is some advice from uh, d Dix. Okay. All right. Uh, to me, no. Like, <laughs> I cannot be friends with a girl unless it's... Okay. Other, like, guys just don't care about your girl's, uh, problems and what's going on unless they're trying to fuck. Right. Let's just be honest, you know what I mean? Right. So, I wouldn't take it to heart. I would just be like, well, that's just how... Damn, I want to say that's how guys are. Cause <laughs> like, I'm, okay, so let me, let me give you my advice. Like, I have three best friends. Gabby, Solera, and Chloe, right? And let me just tell you this, I'm attracted to all three of them, right? But at this point, I am I value our friendship more than I value having sex with them. And so that's why I always put the friendship first and I'm not trying to actively get out, get at them because I value their friendship more. And so if you could find a guy friend like that, if you're a girl, then you're honestly pretty lucky. 
So, you know, there's always going to be underlying attraction there, but, you know, you just got to find a guy that, you know, has control and self-discipline. I like how I said that, forgetting that you have hella girls. <laughs> God, Kato, what do you think? Can guys be uh, just friends with girls? Uh, no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it goes to... I think it's different. Carlton's the only outlier. Yeah, he's the exception. <laughs> oh. But, uh, like, in marriage, definitely not. No. Marriage is a different story. I ain't Definitely, gonna lie I don't to you. think you should have friends of the opposite I didn't sex. I know you're allowed with to marriage. have girlfriend, friends of girls when you're married. No, I think mean, about it. Like, you, you can't be texting other girls well, with your. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't even want to. Like, yeah, maybe yeah. if I need some advice or something, I'll, I'll, you know, hit up my best friend or something. But like, I don't know. It's kind of that's kind of like a dangerous game you're playing, because it's like, okay, do I value my relationship or my friendship? What did you step in? Oh, that's. Nice. Get your old uh. <laughs> what's up guys it's your boy Will carlton back again with my boy devin this is the most boring time of the track meet we got to sit here we don't even compete today i think b miller and uh alan competing today but this is the most boring time we just got to sit here and do nothing for a whole day until we compete tomorrow at one. I can't think it's- even go to the track. Oh God, we can't even go to the track because of COVID. So we can't even support them. There's no live stream. So we just gonna have to look at the results online. Hopefully they run sub 350. That'd be really good for them. But um, this is where this is where uh, the mind, you, you start playing mind games with yourself. You start going over your strategy, getting nervous while you're sitting here. I guess the best advice would be to just not think about it. Try to read a book or watch YouTube or watch a movie. Try not to think about the race. Um, because thinking about and running the race right now is not gonna help you. You just gotta run uh, when you get to when you get to the track. So yeah, that would be my advice. Um, Devin, what's your advice on uh, you know just chilling here at the hotel before the race? Uh, enjoy your moment, enjoy your time. You know, because a lot of people will get stressed that oh, I gotta chill, I gotta sit here, but enjoy it. Mm -hmm. People need to. People are so quick to, you know, train and get the workout and all that stuff. But there's just some days where you just need to relax and enjoy it. Period. So you heard it here, folks. First, relax, enjoy it. I'm finna get back into bed, relax. And I'm gonna do everything slow till I get to the race. <laughs> Peace out. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Carlton. Back again with the vlog. Uh, we're at Domino's right now. Me and my boy Devin, you already know what it is. Uh, we're getting some dinner. Um, usually I get pasta and a bread bowl. My guy Alvin knows what it is. In high school, I always used to get pasta and a bread bowl, but then it had a bread bowl. So I just got pasta, uh, no chicken, and some, ooh, they're gonna police this. Man, that sucks. Anyways, I got pasta with uh, Parmesan bread bites. But yeah, go kart. oh God, we got the sunset in the background. It looks really good out here. This shit is sexy. Ooh. Move? We sitting right here and the police just, uh, they just uh, doing their thing. But Devin, how you feeling for the race tomorrow? I know we already talked about it, but uh, update. I'm excited. First race, don't know why I'm finna run, but that's the exciting part about it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, for I'm sure. Do my best I can. Practice on block starts yesterday, so I think I got I got it pretty uh, down pat. So. Fantastic. Well, you know, you always get that. It's, it's our first race since indoors last year, but first outdoor race since 2019. So, you know, you always got that, uh, I guess, well, for me, I have that self-doubt of, am I still going to be able to do this? Blah, 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 blah. But you, we're ready. We're ready. Despite any of that, obviously, we're going to get windy. We're going to get tired. But that doesn't matter because we're ready to rumble. So, we'll keep y'all updated. Next part of the video will be race day. So, we'll keep y'all updated. Peace. And what is up, guys? We're back at it again. Another part of the video, the vlog. It's race day. It's like um, it's like seven forty-five. You guys shake out at eight. Damn, this is how I look in the morning. Pretty much the same. My boy Devin over there, chilling. Devin, how'd you sleep, bro? Ugh. Like enough. <laughs> oh my god. We got uh, to go to the track about ten thirty. Um, you know, gonna knock this first one out. And you already know what it is. So I'll see you on the track. Peace. Shout out to the 400 squad. 
me and my boy Caden out here getting ready to race, warm up. You already know what it is. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, my boy Devin's warming up right now for the floor. We'll let you know how it goes after the race. It's your boy Uncle Carlton and B Miller. Ooh. B Miller, how'd you feel about the race today? It was cool, man. Four by four. Always a hard race, but fun. Uh, I tried to get out fast. We just tried to put second leg in the best position. For sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. How'd you feel? Man, I ran that eight. Oh, yeah, I, double. That's what I'm saying. It was like 30 minutes between the eight and four by four. You see, I was still caught in mouth. But we're 48 four. Isn't my best opener, but isn't my worst. So, haven't run in two years. So, just knocking off the rust. That four by four was pretty slow, but <clears throat> it'll get faster as the year goes along. Sure. Devin, how'd you feel about that 400? What is it? The four, open four? Yeah, 46 8. The open four. Felt a little sluggish in the beginning. Yeah. I woke up my starts a little bit more, but. How'd you finish? Dusting off the rust. Uh, I finished pretty strong. I pushed it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> I know I got a little bit to work on, but. It's more up here than it is. the training. That's How about sure. that 4x4? Four 4x4 four? Four four felt real smooth. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to have some awesome ass um, teammates to give me that gap so I could just chill and cruise. Mm -hmm. Coach, how'd you feel about the, the meet today? I'm not talking to you, Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Uncle Carlton back again. Um, it's after the meet. Uh, it's nighttime, Saturday night or whatever. I want to ask you guys, have you ever tried to do the 8? <clears throat> the eight and the four by four back to back like with 30 minutes of rest because i attempted that today and it, i didn't have a good result i'm not gonna lie and you can kind of hear it in my voice because i still got the dryness in my voice in every other word like uh, i can't even say it <laughs> but yeah i don't know it's been an interesting vlog um me and Devin are kind of lame to be honest so we don't really like going out so we're probably not gonna go to the clubs or whatever but um, if club, we do, club. this is bars. That's what I'm saying. But like, if anybody does, I might just have to record and like, maybe Brandon will go. I don't know. Brandon probably won't go either. But I maybe have Carter and them. But you know, I could. I kind of do want to explore. No, Brandon on the show takes time. Oh shit! Niggas just trying to cross the street, bro. Oh my god. I wonder if she's going to Domino's too. 